For this week's Smith Business Close-Up, we're on location at the University of Maryland. And joining us is Kenyon Crowley, who is Deputy Director of the Center for Health Information and Decision Systems at the Robert H. Smith School of Business. Thank you for being with us. I'm delighted to be here, Jeff. We want to focus on mobile health. To begin with, what is meant by mobile health? Well, mobile health can mean a lot of things, but the way we think about it is any healthcare that's practiced outside of the traditional clinic environment. Um, and with our research center, we think about it from a technology perspective as well. So thinking about how we can leverage smartphones, wearable devices, sensors to help support health and wellness activities uh, when you're not in the hospital or in the clinic. So as the smartphone business technology has, has taken off, it's enabled this, this new field. Absolutely. Most adults now have a smartphone. Um, and with that smartphone, there's ability to run apps and to connect with sensors. And so leveraging that, many manufacturers and vendors and other partners are um, developing these solutions. For example, you might have seen Apple just release their health kit and their health watch just last week. And the, the, the health watch, I know it can take your pulse, but it, the technology more broadly can involve other things, maybe monitoring uh, blood sugar. What, what other potential health benefits are there? Well, there, there are many benefits. I mean, one of the benefits is access to services. So through mobile technology, instead of having to go to the clinic, you may be able to have certain tests done or engage with uh, your physician in different ways. Um, also, if you think about certain conditions, for example, uh, congestive heart failure, through mobile techno technology, a uh, CHF congestive heart failure patient uh, can be monitored to see if there's any immediate weight gain. Um, and with that, um, it could be signaled back to the healthcare organization and so you know there's a potential problem coming. So traditionally where you might have had a serious um, event happen, you can avoid that, uh, which, which avoids hospital stays, pain, injury, and cost. So you're uh, cutting costs and, and improving health uh, at the same time. What does it mean for providers of, of health care services? I mean, obviously there's, there's new technological complexity that didn't used to be there before. It's, it's a very good question, Jeff. Um, providers, I think, are still trying to understand what this is all going to mean for them. Um, in the past several years, they've been tasked with shifting from paper to electronic records. And now with the, the advance of mobile health technology, they're not quite sure what, what's going to happen in that regard. But many, many providers, including uh, forward-thinking health organizations like Kaiser Permanente, have started integrating mobile health tools into their standard of care. So I think over the next several years, you'll con continue to see more and more mobile technologies used. Also, um, in tandem, you see uh, different regulations and laws being changed at the state level, which formerly prevented this type of service or getting reimbursed for this type of service, which now will reimburse uh, doctors for using this service. You're involved uh, here at the University of Maryland in a partnership that's called EARN. What is that? That's correct. Uh, the EARN program is a workforce and economic development program funded by the Maryland Department of Labor and Licensing. Um, and it's meant to create jobs in Maryland in this new sector. So, so with that, we're engaging in a number of um, programs under the, the, the broader EARN program to both train uh, students, uh, transitioning veterans, as well as the executives who would be responsible for um, building and implementing these programs in Maryland. So it's a whole new industry, whole new group of workers. You see some opportunity here. Oh, absolutely. Um, and Mar Maryland's a great place for it. I mean, within Maryland, we have hundreds of companies that are focused on this sector. I um, mean, we hear, we talk to these companies every day, and they're telling us that they're not uh, finding enough talent to support these new programs. Um, so we're really excited to bridge both the industry partners with w what we're doing at the university, both here um, on the University of Maryland campus, as well as our other partner in the UNERM program, which is the um, Howard Community College, um, and leading on the industry side is the Maryland Health Tech Coalition. Very good. Kenyon Crowley of the Robert H. Smith School of Business, thank you for being with us. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Thank you.